I just created a free Notion template for students with a clean and simple design, but yet has all the essential features that you'll need to be more productive, be more organized and succeed in school. All right, so as you can see here, we are now on the Notion dashboard, and this is something that I've made here. We're greeted here with a clock on the left with our weather as well in the middle along with some inspirational quote that I got, you know, as a widget. And of course, a quick to-do list um, for things that you can add and remove. Just something that you could easily jot down, right? And minimize friction in terms of writing down your ideas and thoughts and whatsoever. Scrolling down over here, we can see that we have our weekly schedule for your classes. Here I have some sample classes like Physics 1510 for Monday, a couple classes for Tuesday, Wednesday, and obviously it has the time and the title of that class as well. You can easily just drag this around. Um, in terms of ordering matters, pick which class comes first in that aspect. You can also filter it by semester. So you can see which um, semester that you want per class. So if you want only the spring classes, the summer classes, fall classes, you can um, definitely change it up here uh, within its respective classes to set the semester or create a new semester. You can also head over here in this class gallery where you can see um, your classes in this format. So it's easier for you to see it in like a card view format, right? And again, you could always filter it with uh, which semester the classes are for. So as you can see here, I'm taking a look at one of the example class pages. You, ha you have your class name or class number here. You have the days that you're taking these classes. So for this example, it's gonna be Monday, Wednesday. You have the class name, introduction to physics or whatever it may be. You can again, say your semester. You can take a look and change the times uh, for whatever time it is. And obviously you can upload your class syllabus in this attachment file right here. Now, this is what I really like about this template that I've made is that you can actually have class specific tools such as a grade calculator. So for example, you're going over here and this is what you have right now um, in physics 1510, right? So you wanna calculate your grades or whatever for whatever reason, then you would wanna go over here to this section and kind of just change things around here. So you could change the weight of you know a quiz or a midterm and put whatever grade that you have right now. And you can actually get the sum of the grade that you have in the class. So again, this is a very useful tool and every single class has their own respective grade calculator. So you wouldn't be messing with other classes, grade calculators, if that makes sense. Every class also has a Pomodoro tracker as well. So here you're going to have a Pomodoro timer and you can log down what you're doing for that respective class. So for example, for CS 1250, you're going to be studying for midterm one. And then let's just say another example is, you know, you're coding homework, right? And you spend like 20 minutes here. And, you know, it, it logs the time that you entered it, obviously, so that you know when you actually um, completed that assignment. And you can see here that you're doing that 20 minutes for homework. And if we go back to another class, you could see that our Pomodoro tracker here um, does not get modified from that CS class, right? So every single class has their own Pomodoro tracker. Every single class has their own grade calculator, which is very, very handy in that aspect. Now, if you do want to change any of these classes or you want to create a new class, I highly recommend you just duplicate them. You just duplicate these classes, right? So you duplicate it. You have another class, for example, and it's just going to create a whole new like set of things within that class. So it doesn't tamper with any other classes that you have here. So for example, you have a, another class like, I don't know, accounting 101, right? And you go over here, you could change the different um, icons and right, perfect. So now we have accounting 101. And you could change again the semester, the times, the syllabus, whatever it is. And you could add your own notes down over here. You don't want to tamper with the class specific tools, but you could definitely add more notes and whatever you need for these classes. Now, within this dashboard itself, you already have a quick Pomodoro timer here as well in case you need it. Um, you know, for a quick Pomodoro session and you don't want to, you know, go to a specific class and tamper with the Pomodoro tracker there. You could use the one in the home page. Again, this is a Pomodoro timer widget that I've used. You could easily just change out the time um, with how many minutes, how long your short breaks are, how long your long, how long your long breaks are, and etc. Scrolling down here, we also have the um, Spotify playlist section. You could always change the Spotify playlist if you want to. So this is just an embed of the Spotify playlist. If you wanted to remove it or you want to change it, you can always just um, delete it and copy a Spotify playlist link and hit the create embed section. So let me just show you how to do that real quick to change it to your own personal playlist for your studying matters, right? So here, for example, I already have a playlist link that I just copied. I'm just gonna delete this playlist right here. So I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna go paste that playlist link and I'm gonna hit create embed over here, which will actually generate me this 
Spotify playlist, um, and this is called coding mode, right? Because let's just say you're doing computer science homework. You wanna listen to some coding music, there you go. And you easily just swapped out the playlist within like three seconds, right? Next up here to the right, I have a calendar view and I have a list view, and I also have a board view of your tasks that you wanna do. So for example, I have here start Java assignment, and you can also set the different priorities for this task. You could change the due date. And also most importantly, you could change which class it actually belongs to, right? So here, let's just say I'm on the list view and this is the start Java assignment. And I wanna link it to a class, which is the CS 1250, which I'm assuming is the computer science class. I could easily click over here, link it to a page and I could link it to the class that I've, that I've already have there, CS 1250. And now when we open the CS 1250, you can see that I have one backlink, which is gonna be start the Java assignment. And you could put all the assignment details and whatsoever in that page. And again, this is great because it automatically syncs to whatever class you just made. So for example, we just made the accounting 101. And you can see here that it, you know, you could actually link it to that page for that certain assignment, right? Again, you have this calendar view of, you know, things that you wanna do and, you know, the respective due dates and whatsoever. And you have the little status here, whether it's started, not started, done, you know, whatever you wanna do and the different priorities as well. So like, if this is, you know, something you wanna, you need to do, you could sort it by its priority, like low or medium priority, you know, whatever it is that it may be. Now scrolling down over here, we have very, very quick and useful tools. If you do cook your own meals or you wanna track your budgets and expenses what on the things that you're spending in school. So here you go. So you can see here that I have different recipes and meals for different you know foods or whatever you want to cook so let's just for example open chicken fried rice right you have the different tags here such as like dinner um chicken whatever it is right you can make your own tags and whatsoever you can put your cook time so for example it takes 30 minutes to cook this great whatever right and you can go over here and you can see that there's different ingredients along with the different steps that you need to cook this meal and this is great for storing your recipes, especially if you live off campus and you need to cook your own meals. You can also go over here, go to list view, and you could, you know, see it in this different, in this uh, format. Moving over to the right here, we also have our monthly expenses. So you could have, you know, different names, whatever you're, you're buying and whatever you're spending on. So for example, here I have gas bill and I put it, I categorized it under a utilities and house. And obviously I put the amount here and the date that I paid it. And you can see here that it sums everything up here in this row. So I believe that is the whole template. Again, it is very, very simple, yet it is very effective. It's not complicated at all to use this template, if, even if you're a Notion beginner, right? You don't have to be super familiar with Notion. Everything is just kind of laid out here. Um, easy for you to drag and drop and just see everything visually. Now I do have to say these clocks and the weather widget, I used indify.co to create these. So if you wanna replace it with your own respective location or your own respective time zone, you have to go to indify.co to replace the widgets. So let me show you exactly what I did, right? So here I am, I'm on indify.co and I do have an account which you could just sign in with your Google account, right? And indify.co is basically a place where you put all your like Notion widgets and whatsoever. You could create your own widget. And here, for example, I have the, um, the Los Angeles weather widget, right? Um, you could create it to your own custom liking, change the location, change the temperature, whatever, and how many days you want it. You just hit copy in this bottom uh, bottom link right here. And what you do is that you actually just, you could actually delete this. So yeah, you could actually just delete this widget down here. And again, go over here to where you just deleted it, hit paste, hit create embed from that link. And then boom, there you go. You should have your weather widget. You can just resize it easily to the point where it doesn't have that scroll bar right there. And boom, perfect. You just exactly just made the same thing, except now it's gonna be where your location is at. If you wanna replace the clock, all you have to do is just go over here, delete it, and paste the embed for that clock and just resize it to this size and everything should be good to go again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick and simple Notion template that I've made. And again, the link is gonna be in the description down below. So feel free to use this for your own use. And hopefully it helps you guys out in terms of organizing your school life and making yourself more productive and getting everything done and in an organized manner. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.